Welcome back to movementprofessional.com. So today I want to discuss uh, a concept of two different types of repetitions. Um, and I'm going to give an example of the push-up today. And then I'm going to try to do a series on different movements and how you can vary up your repetition and how that can totally change the intent of the exercise, what you're doing. So today I want to go over the push-up. And the two different types of repetitions are going to be a dead start repetition and a continuous repetition. So the dead start repetition is going to be basically starting on your stomach completely at rest. And the key to a dead start is that you have to be able to start completely at rest. So I could literally fall asleep here if I wanted to, all right? So I'm, but there's no tension in my body before I start, henceforth dead start. All right, so now I'm going to tuck my toes under, I'm going to lift my knees, I'm going to spin my hands to the ground. And the benefit here is I get to practice pre-tensioning my body. So it teaches me a timing sequence of my deeper core muscles with my superficial muscles for movement and stability. So I'm going to pre-tension, I'm gonna get my pelvis in the position I want it, and I can be at rest here doing it so I don't have any tension holding me down that I have to fight against. All right, I can spin my hands through the ground, and then I wanna basically have so much tension that I just float off the ground. So at no point in the motion should there be, I'm tensioning and then I'm jerking off the ground, because then if I jerk off the ground, I'm gonna compensate, I'm gonna lift with my back. So there should be a sense of, I'm at rest, tuck my toes, lift my knees, pelvis tucks under, spin my hands through the ground, and the thought is I'm gonna keep spinning my hands through the ground until I just float up. All right, so it's a really good assessment to see where people are in their, you know, with stability, uh, with a push-up because you'll be able to see compensations really easy when you start from that dead start position you also be able to show people what they can't yet do so then we have to kind of redress the exercise to make it a little bit easier all right so that's actually going to be much more challenging to kind of create that tension from the bottom than it is to do a continuous rep push-up which would be starting at the kind of easier hold position which would be the top of the push-up, so getting into a high plank and making sure that you can get into the right position. So getting into this high plank, it forces you to be on tension even if you're in a position that it wouldn't be the, the hardest part of the movement. So as soon as I get into this quadruped position, I already have to create some type of body tension, otherwise I'm gonna collapse to the ground. And then when I get up into a top of the push-up, I have to create more body tension. So my body tension is already on whether I'm doing the push-up or not. Now I want to keep that tension up and down so it's continuous tension throughout the whole motion, touching the bottom of the range of motion and getting back to the top. All right, so that's going to be more for more repetitions and you'll cycle through that. So the continuous repetitions are much better for building hypertrophy over time, trying to build some volume into your workout also shows you can you as you would do more reps are you getting fatigued and can you maintain position through fatigue and then the dead start really shows you do you have the ability to initiate movement with a good pelvic position a good uh, stable position without losing that all right so completely different focuses it's important to know the difference and important to train both if you have any questions you can go to moveprofessional.com i'll see you next time